Uh, good day, my name is David Moya and then this is a political demonstration video for my Ray 121 political assignment 2. So this is my code as I've run it here but now I've just paused it here. So I'm gonna start off by resetting the code and then just run it again, okay? So after resetting the code, I just run it again and then let me just pause it. So when we pause the code, let me just measure my frequency, okay? can just see there our frequency is actually 4966.8 hertz that's approximately 500 5000 hertz as given in the specifications so okay no problems there so then we can just run it again we continue running the code and then we can just come here to our new pop-up window and then just increase the speed a little so we increase the speed and then we just pause it again so then we're gonna measure our frequency again so okay, you come here and then measure frequency. You can just see there, our frequency is 4,870 hertz. This is approximately equal to the 5,000 hertz as specified in the docu requirements documents. So okay, we can see that our frequency doesn't change whenever we increase or decrease the speed of the motor. Okay, so now we're gonna run the run the code again and then just measure the the duty cycle period at a different speeds okay so what i have to do is just i'm gonna reset my code and then just start off at 20 percent so i'm gonna run it this is at 20 percent and then i'm gonna pause it and then just measure our period or duty cycle at 20 percent then you can actually see that it's 44 microseconds so 44 microseconds is actually a good value because according to our calculations at 20 percent we got uh, 40 microseconds so you can just see that the values are approximately equal to each other and then we just want to do the same run it and then just measure it's 40 percent 60 percent and then finally 80 percent so we continue running our motor and then we just increase the speed and then we just pause it again to measure our duty cycle and then you can just see okay at 40 percent we see that our duty cycle is 82 microseconds that's so so good then we just run it again and then just increase the speed okay then we pause it and measure our duty cycle and you can just see that our duty cycle there it is it's 125 microseconds and then we run it again and measure at a maximum now 80 percent and we just increase it and then just stop the pause then you can just measure our duty cycle here it's actually equal to 161 microseconds so this is good because according to our calculations you can just verify again know the theoretical calculations we did that at 80 percent we're supposed to get 160 microseconds so you can just see that this value is approximately equal to each other which means that our motor controlling is actually working fine and then what we're gonna do next we just want to demonstrate that whenever we increase the speed above the the desired limits then it's not gonna have any effect on the motor because then it doesn't go above or below the specified value so you're just gonna run it and then just come to our new app. and then if we increase the speed as you can see we're increasing it and then you can just pause it again so, and then you just measure our duty cycle again and then you just see that our duty cycle is 164 now so then it doesn't have any effect on the motor the motor doesn't go above the required speeds okay and then we just gonna have to show now the serial port receive values our serial port receive values are received on the port zero then we just gonna have to go to port zero here so this is our serial port zero and then you can just see here this is the part for the increasing the speed and then the other one this is for decreasing the speed so you can just see if we reset the code and then just run it again let's just run it and then if we stop it then you can just see our serial port receive value it's gonna be let me just measure it where's the thing now okay there it is then you can just see this is our value here okay this is our value here and then if we just increase the speed we can actually measure again our serial port receive value now okay that's at a maximum then you can just stop it and then just the serial port receipt value it's gonna be 
affects the values. So you can just actually see that the value actually does change. It shows that our code is actually working fine. And then yes, that's it.